everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what's in my son's overnight bag. Um, so for those of you who don't know this, if you haven't seen my what's in my bag video, uh, my family and I are going to be taking off and going on a little trip down to Little Nashville, Indiana. For those of you who don't know what that is, uh, it's a lot like Gatlinburg, Tennessee, just on a much smaller scale. Um, so, I actually started this video and got like halfway through and my camera beeped at me and was like, we're going to shut off because you're not doing anything. Which turns out, I wasn't recording. So, let's go ahead and start all over. So, this little bag here, I think it's super cute. I actually won it um, at a raffle probably four years ago. Um, but I think it's going to work out perfect for him. I love it because it's kind of like a vinyl, so it's um, not something that's going to absorb anything. So if anything spills or, you know, anything like that, you know, things get messy with kids. Um, it's not going to stain the bag or, like, soak into the bag. So it'll be easy cleanup. So first thing is this makeup case that comes with the bag. It fits perfectly inside of here. And I found it perfect for storing all of Levi's food. So inside of here I have enough baby food to last us the next three days. Um, I also have some apple juice packed in here, a little bottle of that because he really likes apple juice. I don't plan on opening it until we get to the hotel though, that way we can put it in the hotel fridge. Um, and then I've got a little bottle here for his apple juice and I also have his spoons packed. Now his bottles are actually packed away inside of his diaper bag. Um, I'm not going to show you guys that today, but if you're interested in seeing what's in my diaper bag, let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do a whole video about what's in my diaper bag. But it's just the normal stuff, so I'm not showing it for this particular video. After that we have his breakfast oatmeal. This one is apples and blueberry. He hasn't tried it yet, so tomorrow will be the first go on that. And then I also packed his um, formula. This is a trial size of the Pure Bliss formula by Simlac. It's actually a new formula that, that they've come out with. Um, it's supposed to be fresh milk from grass-fed cows. Um, if you are signed up with Simlac, you probably got the email as well. Um, but they sent out an email saying to you know sign up, fill out the information, and they send you a free. Uh, sample of the pure bliss formula now my son can eat any formula so i was like yeah go ahead and send me like a free can of formula um but if you're interested in seeing like my other unboxing videos for formula samples i can leave that link down below but if you didn't know this you can sign up with formula companies and they will send you out free samples which is fantastic because formula is expensive <laughs> Then I also have a little storybook packed for him. Um, I believe I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. It's called Boy's Fairy Tales. Um, we've read Aladdin. We're up to uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. And then there's um, the three Billy Goats Gruff and the Gingerbread Man. I like to read him every night. It um, doesn't always happen every night, but we try for every night. And I'm pretty sure the little girls one probably just has little girls as the main characters. But this one has all little boys as main characters. But that's the book we've been working on. I don't know that we're going to get a chance to actually read because we're going to be really busy, but if we do, I thought I'd go ahead and bring his book. Then I also have his oatmeal packed. Um, I like to mix this in. This is just like a plain oatmeal, and I like to mix it in with his fruit baby food just to thicken it up and make it a little more hearty. And on top of that, I'll also be bringing his rice baby food, or baby cereal, I should say. That's what that is, baby cereal. Um, we'll be bringing that one as well, and I like to mix that into his vegetables to do the same thing, just make it a little bit more of a hearty meal. Then I've got a blanket packed for him. This is actually like a Star Wars one. It has all the little stormtroopers all over it. It's really cute. And this is just kind of like our travel blanket that we keep with him. Um, normally it's in the car, but it needed washed, so I just went ahead and packed it in here so I wouldn't forget it. But um, yeah, I think it's good to like keep a blanket in your car for your kid, um, just in case you know they get cold, you need it, anything like that. It's always good to have one on hand. And since we're going on vacation, I figured we'll just go ahead and keep it in the hotel with us. On top of that, I also packed him a bed sheet, and this is just one for his crib. Um, I called our hotel, and they actually offer pack and plays. So I thought I'd bring this to put in the mattress for the pack and play. Um, assuming that it has a mattress, I would think that it would, but it might not. Um, but that is something you can do if you're getting ready to take a trip. Call your hotel and see if they have any kind of accommodations for children if you need them. Um, guys, I am writing the struggle bus on this video. My camera just told me it was going to die, so I had to plug it in. Next thing you know, it's going to tell me it's got a full memory. Um, but yeah, what I was saying about bed sheets is that you can call your hotel ahead of time and see if they offer any accommodations for children, if you're going to need them like a crib or something like that. Um, and a lot of times they'll offer a crib or a pack and play for your baby to sleep in, which means one less thing that you got to pack and travel with. Because we were going to take his pack and play, but 
if we don't gotta bring it that's fantastic <laughs> Of course, we're going to be bringing wipes, so I just have a fresh pack of wipes right here. These are the Members Mark from Sam's Club wipes. I really like them. They're really good. And then I've also got a pack of diapers. I don't think we'll go through the whole thing, obviously. This one will last them a week, but it's nicely packaged, and I figured easier to travel with. And then we also picked them up a pack of Slim diapers. These things are so expensive. I think we paid like $10 for this tiny little bag, but it should last him most of the summer up until he hits 34 pounds which I think he's like at 20 now so hopefully it'll last into the summer because that was expensive um as for the clothes I'm going to be bringing him I tried to make everything as easy as possible because I wanted as few things to keep track of as possible so I've got like these little outfits that are like full outfits how cute is that? It's got the little feet in it. Um, and it just looks like a pair of bib overalls. Um, I'm pretty sure this one came from Cracker Barrel. So if you're interested in checking it out, um, you can go there to look for it. And then this one here, I believe, is Carter's brand. Um, I got this from my local Myers. So I know that the Myers isn't like a nationwide thing. I think it's only um, either only in the state of Indiana or just like a Midwestern thing. I'm not really sure. But I thought this was super cute. It has little dinosaurs all over it. Um, and it's got a hoodie pocket. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I just thought it was super cute. And that's just kind of what that looks like. It'll be super easy to throw on him and take with us. Then I did have to pack a couple of outfits for extras and backups just in case he has a blowout. Um, so I've got, kind of kept them in the same theme, but I've got like a little monkey shirt with a pair of gray pants. And then here's the other pair of gray pants. And here's his other monkey shirt. <laughs> um, and then he also has a monkey jacket. And I just did that because it makes everything easy. Everything's monkeys, everything's gray, everything matches. Easier to dress him if we have to use any of this stuff. Then I'm bringing him two pairs of pajamas. Um, typically he wears one pair of pajamas two nights in a row unless he has a mess in them. So hopefully I won't need to use both of them. But if he has a mess, I figure we need to have a backup. But this one's just like sock monkey pajamas. It also has the feet, which I think are so cute. They look like little sneakers. And this one also came from Cracker Barrel. And then here's another pair of pajamas. They're all unzipped. Um, and there's the booty. So cute. And they also have, like, looks like little socks or little shoes on the bottom of the feet. I have him three pairs of socks packed, so nothing too special there. And then we have two bibs packed. Uh, this one has a little dinosaur on it. And then this one I love has monkeys all over it. And it's one of those teething bibs. We picked it up at Walmart if you're interested. And they had a couple different styles. Then we also had to pack his swimsuit. Um, this one is from Wave Zone. I, we also picked it up at Meyer. But how cute is that? It looks like a little wetsuit. Is that not adorable? And then it zips down the back. Like how cute is that? And then on top of all of that, at Sam's Club, we found um, a life preserver, life vest, whatever you want to call it. This one is for infants less than 30 pounds. It is a bit of a snug fit on him, but um, I think we need to adjust the straps here. And then I like that it has like this head protector thing up here. So for whatever reason, he gets away from us and he's floating in the water. His head won't be directly in the water. It'll be surrounded by this thing. Um, so yeah, if you guys are needing to get a life preserver for your kid, uh, go check out Sam's Club. And I will try to have a link to this down below in case you're interested in picking it up. And hopefully this will last him all summer as well. That is everything that I have packed in his bag. We're also going to be bringing his like little bounty seat and some toys for him. But otherwise, that's everything we're bringing in our bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do have a video that will be going up of what's in my bag. If you want to check that out, I'll try to link it down below. I'm not sure which video is going to go up first, so just throwing that out there. And then I'm going to try to do a hotel, hotel room tour. And I might even do a little bit of vlogging once we're down in Little Nashville. So keep an eye out for that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.